Hi everyone! In this video, I will design a simple potable water system and calculate it. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! Okay, so I will start by designing the cold water system in the model. To do so, I come to the pipe function in the pipe network toolbox. I will start close to the wash basin below. So here in the shaft, I will left click to start the pipe. Now I will change the start from to story below. I will change the medium group to domestic water and the medium it's already selected the cold water and material plus VPE. Uh, the pipe size I will change to 20. So that's okay, I'll click OK. The mountain height in this case will be 2.75 and I'll click OK. And I'll zoom out a little bit and draw the pipe close to the toilets, left click to insert a band. And when it cross the, to the last toilet, I will left click and press enter to finish the, the pipe segment. Now I will insert a T in here in the horizontal uh, pipe in the horizontal segment. Uh, as you can see, the pipe segment is highlighted. To be highlighted, the function use smart snaps must be activated. So I will left click here, close to the wash basin, and here it is the T. Um, I will keep drawing from the T, so this uh, option must be activated. Click OK and move until it crosses the last wash basin. Now I'll press enter again because I'll keep drawing and now I will start the hot water system. So close uh, inside the shaft and close to the cold water, I will left click and start the pipe and I will change the medium to hot water. Else what I will do is to include an insulation to this pipe. So I come to the tab insulation and I click on the option use insulation. If we would like to change the insulation type, we come to the product database by clicking on the three dots button. In this case, I'll click OK and the mounting height for this pipe will be 2.8. So I'll click OK. I will move the pipe and after the, the T, I will left click and move until it crosses the wash basin. Now I'll press escape to close the function. Let's see in 3D what we have drawn so far. Here it is. Um, from this hot water, I will draw a circulation pipe parallel to it. So I will select a hot water pipe segment, right mouse click, and I will select the option extend selection of main branch. When everything is selected, I can right mouse click again and select the option draw parallel pipes. As you can see, it's already uh, set up with the circulation above the hot water. So it will be outer to the hot water pipe and the distance offset will be of 10 centimeters. So I'll click OK. And here it is, the circulation pipe. Let's see in 3D. OK, so now we are able to connect these pipes to the toilet and wash basin equipment. I will start by the toilets. So I'll select these three objects, right mouse click and I'll select the option automatic connection. Um, in this case, it's just the portable water code the, that I will connect and I will select the option piping ceiling inside wall. As you can see, uh, the preview picture, I'll click OK. And this message uh, tells me that the objects has, have more than one connection point. So click OK and I'll point out which connection I would like to connect. So here it is connected to, uh, to the toilets, let's see in 3D. Okay, now let's go back to 2D and we'll select this three wash basin. Right mouse click and automatic connection again. I'll select the same option as we can see in the preview, uh, the cold water and hot water will be connected. So click OK and here we see the connection. Let's see in 3D. All right, so what we have to do now, I will connect the circulation to the hot water. So I'll select this segment, get closer. I'll click on this node just to move it down a bit. 
and I will start the pipe function once more. In the at the end of the pipe, I'll left click, left click to insert a band, and I will identify the hot water as you can see here, and left click again. Now that it's connected. I will just refresh to get the correct representation of the pipe. Okay, here it is. Let's see in 3D. Yeah, so they are connected, correctly connected. So now that we have finished to, to, to design the systems, I will insert calculation points so that we can calculate this complete system as one. So to do so, I come first to this function set a calculation point and I will point out the cold water, click OK. In the system name, I will give a name. I will set as P, PW01 and I will click OK. I will do the same for the hot water, click OK. And in the drop down list system name, I will just point out the same system and click OK. Now I'll do the same for the circulation. I will get the PWHC circulation and click OK. In the drop down list, I will select the same system name and with all the three system, uh, circuits selected, I will click Calculate. In, in the Calculation tab, we see the three circuits the PWC, cold water, the PWH, or the hot water, and the PWHC, which is the circulation. And we see all the segments that we have drawn. In the tab Options, we have the option to activate the supply pressure, so we can say which supply we have available. And on the right, we have the consideration logic for the tab points. In this case, uh, the building type is an office. And in the bottom left, we see the calculation parameters that we could change if we like. Coming back to the calculation tab, now let's calculate the system. All right, so here we see that the complete cold water system has been resized and we see here the pressure loss. Uh, on the bottom, we see the results of the supply pressure and the pressure surplus. If we go to the hot water, we see the same results here with a different pressure surplus. And in the circulation, we see the volume flow, uh, the, volume flow the pump pressure and the temperature fall. Now, let's click OK to resize our model. With the resized system, we can make use of part text to point out the velocity, the dimension of the pipe segments and other information as needed. But in this case, I will left click one pipe segment. So just to show what I have available uh, in the setup of pipe segment DN and velocity, I will right mouse click and open the configure. And as you can see, these are all the available information that we could add as a part text. Uh, with an X in front, I only have the dimension DN and velocity. So click OK, click OK, and move to the segment and left click to attach the part text. All right, we can also generate a report of this calculation. To do so, we come to the building function and then we, in the tab Potable Water, I will click on the reports. I will just drag to this screen. I will click on the Dimension Potable Water Systems. And in this case, on the bottom left, I will activate the Dimension Cold Water, uh, Cold and Hot Water. By clicking on the Go Next page, we see the results for the cold water, the hot water, and the critical path. All this information can be exported to PDF and other formats. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!